incredibly important part of Ramadan, the zakat, the poor Jew as it's sometimes translated. And this is really the first point of order today, which is to discuss the meaning of the term zakat, sometimes zakat, and to discuss, if we could, some of the significance of uh, the term zakat in Islam. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah, wa ala ahli wa sahibi ajma'in, amma abad, a'uzu billahi minash shaitani rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, rabbi shahli sadri, wa salli amri, wa ahlul uqdad min lisani yafqahu kawli. As far as the literal meaning of the word zakat is concerned, zakat is derived from the Arabic word zaka, which means to purify, which means to increase. It also means blessings and goodness. So zaka means purification, or cleanliness, increase. It means goodness, it means blessings. In Islamic Sharia, zaka is an obligatory charity which every Muslim who has a saving or a surplus wealth which has reached the nisab level or above that and stays with him for one complete lunar year or one hijri year, he should give zakat on that surplus wealth, which is most of the time two and a half percent. This is the Sharia Islamic meaning of it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, chapter number nine, verse number 103, take alms or give charity, give zakat from the wealth so that it will purify and sanctify them. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse number 39, those who give gifts in order that it will increase their property through the gifts of the other person's property, it will have no increase with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But those who give charity, seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will find an increase therein. And zakat is one of the pillars of Islam. A beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Iman, book of faith, hadith number eight, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Islam is based on five principles. The first is, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There's no God but Allah. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. The second is establishing salah. Third is giving zakat. That is obligated charity. The fourth is performing hajj. And fifth is fasting the month of Ramadan which all of us are doing, alhamdulillah, now. So zakat is one of the important pillars of Islam. There are various verses of zakat, which tell us what zakat is, even various hadith, which is the significance in Islam. Allah says in Surah Anfal, chapter number eight, verse number three and four, that zakat is a sign of belief. It says that all those who believe and establish salah and give zakat, they are the true believers. That means zakat, is a sign of true belief. And a beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number four, hadith number 6264. He said that when you give charity, it does not decrease the wealth. And if a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he forgives, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases his respect. And if he shows humility, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises his status in the eyes of the people. So charity does not decrease the wealth. It rather increases the wealth. And by zakat, there is unity and brotherhood among the Muslim ummah. The full Muslim ummah throughout the world is like one family. And a person cares for the others, the rich men, they give zakat to the poor, and they feel that as though they are part of one family. And the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Salah, hadith number 481. Muhammad Sallallahu said that one faithful believer to another faithful believer is like the bricks of a ball. They support each other like the bricks of a ball. And he interlaced his fingers of his hands like that. So it brings unity in the Muslim Ummah. And the one more verse in the Quran, which describes zakat in a nutshell, 
Allah says in Surah Al-Hashar, chapter number 59, verse number 7, speaking about zakat, that it prevents the wealth from circulating amongst the rich. So it was sort of an economic order in Islam, zakat. 